welcome to the Rhinos. How much, how excited are you to be part of this club? Yeah, I'm buzzing. It's going to be a good season ahead. I can feel it, and um, I'm just really glad that Lewis has given me this opportunity. What influenced your decision to join the Rhinos? Uh, it was a, a lot of things. A tricky season that I don't need to expand on last season. Um, a distance thing. I live 10 minutes up the road, sort of up in Bramley, so it's a much nicer commute. And just in a World Cup year and coming into a World Cup year, it felt like a good fresh sheet for me. Talk about World Cup, there's lots of your England teammates. Um, part of the EPU here, isn't there? Um, how good is it to see those and have some familiar surroundings? Yeah, it makes it more comfortable to sort of get going, fit in and just get, get started with training and have some workout buddies in there. So it's, no, it's been nice. It's, it's always nice to know a few friendly faces. What's pre-season been like so far? Well, I think this is the pre-pre-season, but yeah, no, just dead relaxed, just getting our bodies back into it and um, fun so far. So we'll see where it goes. It's going to wrap. What's been that pre-pre-season? What have you been doing? Uh, what have we been doing? So steady, steady reps, steady running, just a bit of cons, and then just looking to ramp up sort of weights and bits and pieces and get some rugby-specific stuff in in January. When you spoke to Lois, what was the vision she sold you, where, she, where she wants to take the club and how you can be part of it? Let's start, get, get winning things again. I think that was the, the main thing. It wasn't a sort of an individual focus. It was how do you come in and fit in as part of a club and where does this club go? And that, that was what we spoke about, yeah. Just for people who um, may not know your career, can you just tell us a little bit about how you got into playing rugby league and your journey here to the Rhinos? Yeah, I have to apologise. I'm a union convert, so I played, started playing. I did always a lot of sport in school. Started playing rugby union at university, went to Nottingham Uni, and then played all my union um, at Wasps down in London, um, first for their twos and then their premiership team. And then all by chance, the, rugby, the English Students Rugby League trials were in Nottingham. In when I was a fourth year student and somehow got a place having not really played before and um, that was how it started and then so I had to start looking for jobs and came up to Yorkshire because I was going to change codes and I did so and that's that's me here so I played at Cass from when it started there was no Leeds team then actually I don't think so, so when it started 2017 and then um, yeah till the end till last season 2021 and then this is going to be a new chapter for me 2022. So fond memories from your time at Cass, obviously they helped you fall in love with... with oh, the... I've got not a bad word to say. Not about the girls I played with, not about the coaching I received, and not about the, the, the team spirit and rugby we played, but sometimes there needs to be a new start and a new chapter and some personal decisions, and that, that's elite sport, it moves on. What are, you, what are your ambitions for next season? Um, I want to perform well. I want to sort of hone down on my position as a prop and learn some specifics off Lois and her team and play alongside a different set of girls and achieve. Let's win some things. World Cup next year, is, is that in the back of your mind? It's in the back of my mind, but I'm keeping it right now at the back of my mind because it's a long season ahead.